Welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. How we all doing? They did it, chat. They did it. I was expected a fully fledged Slayer V2 update with all of these teases on Twitter and everything. I was like, oh, it's happening. They put out like this Combat 60 update. I was so ready. They revamped the Spider's Den. I was like, oh, they're getting ready for the next tier of Spider Slayer. It was a debate. It's just Rev T5, which we've known about for a while, to be fair. But they finally put it out. Just Revenants, as we all know. Revenants are uh, something I've done a little bit too much of in this game. For those of you that don't know, back in 2019, a whole two years ago, this was all I did, dude. Bear in mind, I haven't touched Revs in at least a year. I'm still number 81 in Revenant Horror XP, dude. That is crazy. I literally haven't touched it in forever. 3.369 million XP all getting combat 50 and all these level 100 pets but obviously we have a new one we have the grandma wolf so i do have to get this bad girl to uh level 100 which will be pain i'm also not combat 60 that that's also pain i don't think uh, honestly getting combat 60 off this revenant is gonna take forever i really don't think it's gonna happen i need what nearly 20 million xp for combat 60 i've only done one set of revenant t5s before i did like three or four of them so i kind of know what to expect but i haven't looked at any of the new stuff and I haven't actually claimed my rewards yet. So this is something you all have to do if you are already a decent Slayer level. I saw nothing about this and my guild mocked me for it. And like, there's nothing that tells you to do it. I don't know why you have to do it, but you have to go back into your rewards and reclaim them. So now we get new rewards for Zombie Slayer level seven. We get new rewards for level eight and we get new rewards for level nine. What we get basically is we get a Wand of Atonement. I don't know if that's new. That sounds new. We have the re Orb recipe, which is a new talisman, which I already went ahead and made because it's eight scythe blades in a square, dude. So finally, scythe blades are actually kind of useful. You know, the economy was saturated. They thought, what can we do? Turn it into a talisman. And I get a free reaper gem, which seems to be a pet item that gains eight ferocity for five seconds on a kill. Now you see, I love ferocity, but this is the one time where I got to say it's a no from me. Unfortunately, I love the dwarf turtle shell it too much. I don't see when that would ever be useful. Also, we have the axe of the shredded which is a brand new axe which is an upgraded reaper falchion you know one of the most uh op items in the game they've just made an upgrade for which is ridiculous shard of the shredded i'm guessing that's a drop from the atone hunter yeah that's a drop from the new boss there's the warden helmet which is apparently nutty we need a warden heart which is an rng Jesus drop it's basically a better version of the crown of greed so we'll work towards those i know we're like the billionaire boy but sometimes it's boring to just buy all the new stuff instantly and then be super overpowered so i'm gonna at least try running some res first and see what drops we get and if i get to my first rng jesus meter and we're unlucky then i'll buy one but for now i want to at least you know experience the game kind of like a, a normal individual for a moment but yeah look at this brand new sweaty dude you know he drops tnt on you he has a charged up lightning attack you know this guy is a fancy sweaty boy but unfortunately it all means nothing when i could just do that and do 6.7 million damage to him and ooh, he drops viscera a one Bruh. I mean, that's kind of cool that he drops that, to be fair. Something not entirely useless that just sells to the bazaar for, like, literally 0.2 coins. So, I'll take it, dude. Is there new Reaper armor as well? Honestly, I don't really see the point in that. Necron armor is so strong. Why would you ever use anything else? Unless it's still really good and cheap. It's the only way it could be viable, really. Reaper does more damage than Necron? Really? Reaper armor is better than Necron armor? Oh, that looks sick. I like the look of it, at least. 180 HP, 70 defense, 250 intel, set bonus in rage, and rage for six seconds, dealing a... Oh, my days. That's actually kind of busted, you know? I kind of like that. And it gives 200% damage to zombies? You know what? I might have to try that out in a bit, chat. I think I have a pretty decently maxed Revenant set somewhere. What is this? 84k kills, 28k, 97k. You know, those are looking pretty spicy. Warden Helm still works with it. I can already two-shot the boss. I'm just going to be able to one-shot it with ease, man. That's crazy. How would I feel if I told you Berserker was meta again? 15H, the big sweaty dungeon man himself is telling me Berserker is meta? Is it the Reaper armor that does that? Or is there some other strat? Shredded Axe can one-shot Necron? Of course it can. Of course it can. <laughs> oh my gosh. That makes me so happy. That's crazy. All right, so as you all know, obviously, Necron starts at half health when you're on this phase. So just look at his health bar here. 
That's that's crazy. It was so fat. You, you just throw the axe at him once and his health just melts. Oh my god. No wonder the price of Necron's handles have dropped through the floor, man. That, that's crazy. Dude, the amount of combat XP you get from this is sick. Especially with the Grandma Wolf combos. I'm liking it, dude. I'm liking it. Scythe Blade prices? What are Scythe Blades at now, actually? Let's have a look. It's worth more than five coins, chat. Let's go. Oh, that's so hot. It honestly deserves it. It's only because they made a talisman that needs eight of them to make but you know it deserves the love i'm so happy i've dropped so many of them with them costing like pitiful amounts of coins you know remember the old refraction can't drop a scythe blade meme that was a thing that was like the only thing i ever wanted to get in this game and not a single one dude and finally just before 1 million xp i got my first one and by then they dropped to like 3 million and then i dropped like five or six more after that and they were still worth nothing how much is a warden's helmet 170 mil boy I mean, fair play that it's so expensive. It's basically like a better crown of greed that doesn't rob you of your hard-earned coins, which is nice. But my days, that is expensive. What do you need to make the Warden's Helmet chat? I haven't got the slightest clue. Also, the fact that gives 3k combat XP. You need a Warden Heart. How much is the Warden's Heart? Oh, yeah, that, that's mad. The fact you can get a drop that's that expensive from Slayer again, though, is cool. I like it, dude. Slayer has not been the meta for a while other than Sven's. So yeah, that's kind of sick, especially with how good the Warden Helmet is. I like that. Slayer's kind of meta again. Look at iron prices. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's literally quadrupled in price. Oh my, that Slayer is actually like kind of worth doing, dude. Get that combat 60, get those Warden Hearts, get those pets leveled up. Dude, I haven't even seen this mob's second attack yet. The devs, dude, they put in all this hard work and time to make this fancy boss that has multiple attacks and you have to strategize and deal with it like it's a proper little mini boss and sword swap just go brrr, and you don't see any of the effort they put in. <laughs> Kill it with an AOTE. With this? Oh my gosh, the fact that still does half a million damage is actually kind of mad. All right, yeah, I'll kill it with my Aspect of the End, sure. We'll get to see all the phases then, at least. Aspect of the End Gaming! Oh no! The pitiful amounts of damage, man! I'm actually going low on health. If I die... I was about to say, if I die to this, don't make fun of me. I can't die to the revs, man! I rule the revs! I can't die to them. Anyway, let's have a look at the boss drops. There it is, the Warden Heart. R and Jesus Incarnate. Oh! <sighs> Oh, that's something we're never dropping, chat. I quite pride myself in the fact that I've dropped pretty much every rare item in this game. I've dropped multiple Necrons handles. I've dropped all of the scrolls. I've dropped every single RNGs a Slayer drop, you know? I haven't dropped a Phoenix, but let's be real. There's no way you can optimize grinding for a Phoenix. There is no way. I'm missing a Phoenix, and I feel like I might get the Phoenix before I get the Warden's Heart. I'm gonna be real with you, chat. But you know, we're gonna fill up that meter and all will be good. Switch pets, you know? Nah, I'm leveling up the grandma wolf oh that's another thing by the way chat you're seeing me do all this damage and two shot and everything i'm literally using one of the worst pets in the game <laughs> i'm using the grandma wolf man wait i'm not using you know what? Thank you. Thank you, chat. I think for that entire time, I was actually using a sheep pet. The grandma wolf pet is sick. I don't mean to say it's bad, but I mean to say having it equipped is literally pointless. There is zero reason to ever equip this pet. To be honest, there's zero reason to get it to level 100. The combo boost lasts longer the higher the level. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, that's so much better. I thought it sounded pointless to level up. Honestly, I didn't see it getting much better, but that's actually very, very useful. It's time to test out the new items. We've been slaying out the T5s, you know, two tapping them until now, but chat is bullying me for two tapping them and also bullying me for wasting millions of coins by using a crown of greed we haven't dropped anything rng jesus which is you know typical if you've ever watched a refraction stream but before we do that we're going to go over here and quickly five star uh reaper falchion because apparently you can only five star it before you upgrade it and you can't five star it afterwards and i don't have any undead essence because i maxed out the shop Oh, that looks so hot. I don't know why I haven't five-starred this before, honestly. I mean, I guess it's because I never really used it, but at long last, it's five-starred. Thank you, Mr. Big Hero 6. I appreciate it. Everyone wants me to get a Warden Helmet. Obviously, we have to get this one. Recombobulated, Reforged, All Fumings, Legion, G6, P6. I might be overpaying for it, but I can't be bothered to put all that stuff on myself, which obviously we would be doing because this is a refraction stream. All right, let's do a quick comparison between the two. I want to see what we're working with here. So Crown of Greed with an Emerald Blade, We'll use an Emerald Blade because we don't want to deal with Fabled. 
1.245 million. So around 1.2 million with the Crown of Greed, right? And if we use the Warden's Helmet, we lose half of our speed, but we do 1.8. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's mad. Use Black Cat for the most damage. Oh, that's true. All right, so for those of you that don't know how this works, basically it halves your speed, but you get 10% base weapon damage for every 25 speed. So yeah, Black Cat Pet gives you the most speed. So yeah, that, that's kind of crazy. Who even needs the new armor, dude? I don't need the new armor or the new axe. We just one tap the Rev T5 just with our current gear. That's actually mad. <laughs> I don't need any of the new gear. All right, it's time to get even more broken, chat. We need the new axe. Where is it? Axe of the Shredded. Heal 50 hearts per hit. Deal plus 250% damage to zombies. Receive 25% less damage from zombies when held. Throw your axe, damaging all enemies in its path, dealing 10% of your melee damage. Consecutive throws stack 2x damage, but cost 2x mana. Oh my days, this thing is busted. So we need four shards, four stacks of Remnant Viscera, and a Reaper Falc. How much are these uh, shards? 28 million? We need four of these, right? Holy. All right. All right. We're doing it, chat. Apparently, it's super busted. And obviously, I'm going to be getting it anyway. So why not give these guys some money? They've been grinding. They got their iron Jesus drops. They deserve the coin, chat. What can I say? Oh, it's so hot. Oh, this thing looks broken, dude. This thing looks so ridiculously broken as if Reaper Falchion wasn't broken enough already. I'm kind of sad. I'm going to be real. That Reaper Falchion's been with me since the start. The amount of zombies I've slain with that and all of the memories are gone. But it's turning into an axe so i suppose it's still the same thing how do we make this reaper armor as well we need six enchanted diamond blocks two stacks of revenant viscera so we need two four six stacks of viscera sweep so we'll buy 18 of these that's relatively cheap honestly especially if you guys are saying it's as good as it is why did I click that? This is what happens with your coins when you give them to an idiot like me. Holy, I am such a clown. I am literally the whole circus, dude. I'm also glad we actually have this kind of maxed out Revenant armor as well. It's got so many kills, except the leggings. The leggings are slacking, but it's fine, dude. Boom, boom, boom. Entire chat is laughing at me. How could you? ACOS moment for real. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> Ancient, ancient, and ancient. We need our three recombobulators because ancient is busted, so we can make it even more busted. I'm just gonna G6 P6. That is more than sufficient, especially considering they do no damage, man. The revs can't even hit me if I'm one tapping them. And G6 P6. All right, we could max out with the other. I think I'm gonna put Sugar Rush on the boots just for the extra speed. Legion? I'll do Legion and Sugar Rush. We got to get lucky twice in a row. We got to get the snake rune two. Then we got to get snake rune three. A boy can pray, right, chat? I mean, at least they're only 60k each. That kind of makes me sad because this rune is smexy. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's go. Let's go. One out of two. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Send me your energy. That's so sad. Can we get 50 likes? All right, we'll take a snake rune two. 700k. We're up in the price quite a bit here, boys. Yes, dude, let's go. All right, boom, boom. And finally, we are maxed out, dude. This has taken far too long. I really, really hope this is worth it. This is the brand new Revenant set, man. This is what's best for killing revs, apparently, which is so overkill. This thing has cost me 500 million coins. Revs will never, ever make me that money back. But at long last... 2 million damage with no sword swap. Weren't we just doing 2 million damage before we maxed out all this? I swear we were doing 2 million damage before we maxed out all this. I swear we were. Hang on, dude. It does... It does the same. What? Wait, 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 wait. We got to use the full set bonus. It's fine. We, we, we're going to use the full set bonus, okay? This will do it. That That's... Okay, yeah. I'll take that, dude. I'll take that. Oh, and the armor goes red when you use the ability? That's kind of dope, I can't lie. I like that feature a lot. Can we one-shot them, though? Let's go, dude! We can one-shot... Oh, that's so good. That's so... What pet am I even using? I'm using a sheep pet, bruh. All right, let's try this out with a black cat pet. That's where we're going to do the most damage. Because, like I said, for those of you that aren't aware, the warden helmet gets stronger based on how much speed you have. If we use the black cat pet, get us a ton of speed, we are going to be zooming through these bad boys, dude. All right, black cat pet out. All right, 2.4 million damage. That's ridiculous. That's crazy levels of damage, dude. Is there anything else we can do to get our speed up? I feel like there might be a couple of like weird random items out there we can use to get a speed boost, but maybe I'm capping. Use Rogue Sword. That is what I was thinking. E-Drag better for damage cell. Is it still better? Hang on. 2.3 million. If we use Ender Dragon, we can do... 
Ender Dragon is 100% the play. I can one-tap those things. That's mad. <laughs> 10 million health. Who needs that, man? Literally from this setup, I've just gained another 10 million damage on the sword swap, man. Try doing it in a tux. All right, we'll put it on the tux. My tux is like interesting all right we do slightly more damage i wouldn't really say it's worth it we do like maybe a couple hundred k extra damage at the risk of being a one shot but you know it's for the title dude we'll see how much more we can do <laughs> try with the griffin i love the griffin pet man 16 mil and i got a scythe plate it's actually worth a little bit of money now oh it's gone down like 500k since we last checked what's the ability like Ooh, that has no cooldown as well. We don't even need to use a bow for slayers anymore. Ah, oh, never mind. We run out of mana super quickly. Do a drag with the axe ability. It's busted. How does the axe ability work on dragons? Do we want a sword swap for it? Or do we just literally just spam the axe? I'm going to go try and go do a dragon with this real quick. What's the strap for this thing? Because I can see myself being an utter boomer and failing this first try. I need to get ultimate wise five for this thing. It's sad to get rid of soul eater. We are going to lose some damage on the left clip. But considering we're doing 5 million more health than the mob has we kind of don't need the soul eater i'm gonna be real with you chat especially if the ability is as good as you're all saying old chimera 5 hype with phoenix pet yeah that would give me the most mana to be fair eh, if we're going all in we may as well oh this is an advanced anvil never mind my brain is clearly not advanced okay we'll get our chimera 5 high period out we need our phoenix pet we need to warp drag 3.4k mana 3.6k mana that's kind of goated dude i'm going to butcher this tremendously but we will try our best chat and that's all we can do, right? So we need to get remnants out. No way I am doing this first try. My AOT doesn't work as well. That kind of makes it a lot harder. I need 70 mil. Oh my God. <laughs> We actually did it first try, dude. I mean, people have done much more than what I just did. But you know what? 71 mil straight off the bat, man. Oh, my days. Wait, what pet am I using? The Phoenix? Oh, I've thrown. I would have done so much more if I used the drag pet. That seems to be the shot. No wonder this thing could one shot. Did you, did you just see how much damage I did? <laughs> This is crazy. Dragons are actually broken. I know it's all ghost damage or whatever, but still, this just shouldn't be done. Axe nerf incoming. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know. I don't know what you mean, dude. This is completely balanced. I, I don't know what you're saying. We'll try it again with an end sword swap in a second. We got a dragon claw. I'll take it, chat. I'll take it. Let's try this again, boys. I'm determined to get more. I could have doubled it with the end sword. Well, that was, uh... Dope. <laughs> oh no, I suck at the game, dude. I suck at the game. I was panicking. Golem pet? We don't want golem pet, dude. Because this is doing damage very differently to the golem pet. Oh. Oh. Somehow I'm doing better than my last dragon. Even though I completely missed the pre-fire. Yeah, I think I'm going to whip out a bow. Otherwise, we will be here forever. Magma bow. Oh, there we go. That just instantly took off like 3 million health. <laughs> Easy claps, dude. And we get an AOTD. Let's go, chat. You're not going to T6 your axe, should I? We'll put First Strike 5 on it. Why not? First Strike 5. We'll get that extra bonus damage in, dude. We've been trying to do all this massive damage and we don't even have that. There is literally only one First Strike 5 on the auction house. 125 million coins. 1 million coins for every percentage damage bonus it does on the mob. That's mad. Sure, we already one-tap them. Why not one-tap them but super hard? But there we go. We now have another 1 billion coin weapon. <laughs> What a waste of money. I am so close to maxing it. What do I need? Giant Killer 7, Cleave 6, Venomous 6, and Cubism 6. Nah, oh, nah, I can't do it. They're all so pointless. Nah, this is fine. This makes me happy. This is good enough, chat. This is good enough. Now let's see how much damage we do. We'll try Ender Dragon Pet and we do 18 mil. Oh, that's so broken. Oh, that's so very, very broken. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here. This new gear is beyond ridiculous. I'm so happy that revs are kind of the meta. It's, I've waited years for this moment, man. Expect more rev streams in the future. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but yeah. I'll see you all soon. Take care and peace.